Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Cambridge House International Summer Conference in Vancouver 2012. Mr. Mickey Falk, the mercenary geologist and featured speaker at Cambridge. Welcome to SNN Live, Mick. Good to see you once again, Shelley. And now, <laughs> now we're at, we're at, we're at a uh, conference. There's a pulse. There's always a pulse about silver and gold, particularly. And you know, you're off in you know rare earths and you you cover the graphite. You know, you're all over the place because you you have to be because things Including change. Including gold too, yeah, so yeah. they fluctuate. Right. So tell me, at this point, what's going on in the marketplace, in your opinion, for junior, uh, you know, exploration development and production companies. What's going on out there? Uh, they're going down. There's no interest. The macroeconomic situation in the world is such that people are risk averse. And this is a risky business. So we are in a very uh, deep bear market in this junior resource sector at this time. Price of metals are remaining pretty good. Copper's down. Uh, but it's held up pretty well over the first five months of the year. Uh, gold and silver both up again. Gold was 1615 this morning, so tried to bounce below what 1550. It didn't make it. So that tells you that there's so, sort of a base in gold. I mean, a lot of people are talking about gold at 1200 bucks an ounce. I don't quite see it. I think it's, as we've talked before, I think it's going to be range-bound. Uh, but that doesn't help all these little juniors. So what do, you tell them? what do you tell them when they come to you? What I tell the companies or do, what do what I tell? What do you tell the CEOs of, of, a, of, a, of an exploration company, for instance, when he comes to you and says, Mick, what should I do? Well, I hope you got money in the bank. I hope you have a tight share structure. I hope you've managed your company in a way that will allow you to survive this downtime, which I see no catalyst that will move this market until Labor Day. Labor Day can be a catalyst, as you know. Now, but let me throw something at you. Okay. So, hey. I'm, Is I'm, it a curveball or a fastball? I need to know what's coming. It may be a screwball. I don't know. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, when you have a market that's a tradable market, you know, and they're trading in a range, actually lower, why isn't that a buy opportunity for investors? Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to love it. You loved it at a higher price. How could you not love it at a lower price? You, you know, what else are you going to do with your money? You, you, well, you want to buy paper? I mean, you know what I mean. Well, it is a buying opportunity at some point, but you don't want to tread in too soon. And what I see right now, I see July and August looming, big clouds ready to pour rain and whatever on top of uh, my bald head. And, and so what I see right now is a chance for these things to go significantly lower because of lack of liquidity. You know, we're coming to a season where every New York broker goes to the Hamptons, every Toronto guy, brokers and financiers and investors and whatever, go to their cottages on the lake. Everybody in Europe goes to the beach for a six-week holiday, and everybody in Vancouver, the sharks and the and the charlatans and the shysters and the and the snakes, all leave Coal Harbor and go to the mountains. So we have no market historically, or a very slow market in July and August. Our main problem right now is lack of liquidity. I see more liquidity problems looming in the next couple of months. I'm hoping after Labor Day that when everybody comes back to work, maybe the financial situation in the world will be a little more clear perhaps and we'll have a rally post Labor Day. That said, when we look back, we had a brutal May. What's about May? It's more than sell and May go away. The last three Mays have looked the same. The catalyst for a market downturn, a general market downturn, has been Greek. It's been the Greeks. 
Why always? Every th last three years, there's been a Greek crisis, financial crisis, in May that have knocked the socks off the markets. I s it's happening again this year. Mick, here's my couple things I want to add. And I know this is me interviewing you, but I want to say this. First of all, I always want to buy when everybody else goes on vacation. Yeah. Because you can buy. Right. There's nobody around competing with you to own anything. Right. So you can sit on a bid instead of stink taking bid. out offers. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, you're, you're famous for the stink bid, right? Right. So I think this is perhaps one of the best buy opportunities I've seen in years. And there's nothing that I'm hearing at this conference to change my mind. Okay. I'll grant you that. My point would be, and I've made this mistake a couple of times in June, and I bought too early. So I'm going to sit back. There are going to be phenomenal buying opportunities. Wow. If you really like a stock and you have the financial wherewithal, well, maybe you start to accumulate it now and you keep accumulating it. Right. You keep accumulating. You don't have to lift a whole leg. We're right not going to. We're not going to find the. You're not going to be able to buy at the exact bottom. Nobody my, does. My fear right now, or my trepidation, let's say, is that. It might be a little too early, but it's coming, and maybe July and August would be a time that I personally will be more willing to put my hard-earned dollars into fundamentally strong stocks. But I also want to add one more thing. I don't think Reese is going out of business, if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't think so either. Okay. I don't think there's any short-term resolution with this, but we've been in a month-long market panic and at some point that ends maybe it ends in may and maybe we go through it in may and early june that's kind of been the last couple of years no so well you know what they say in the eurozone about the crisis it's all greek to me ladies and gentlemen <laughs> mickey fall mercenary geologist and what's your website mercenarygeologist.com mercenarygeologist.asia we're at the cambridge show now next uh, week sunday we will be at the chinese global financial forum here in the vancouver area uh, so for our chinese speaking or bilingual speakers uh, come and see us there Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Cambridge House International Summer Conference in Vancouver 2012. Mick, pleasure to see you. Thank you, Shelley. You Always it. a pleasure.